Hi guys, this is Cece Carter, your Realtor for Life with Keller Williams First Coast Realty in Jacksonville. I just wanted to update you on the current real estate market. Before we go any further, please subscribe to this channel for more great videos. Okay, so if you've been listening to the Chicken Littles on the news, you're probably running around like, oh my God, the sky's falling, the sky's falling. And so I just kind of wanted to kind of give you a reality check. Like, don't panic. Don't be afraid. There are a couple of things that people might be thinking that might be getting them a little bit nervous, right? Okay, so I want you to think, instead of thinking, oh my God, home prices are crazy, I want you to think in terms of buying a monthly payment, not buying this home price. Because unless you're gonna live in the house for 30 years, you're not gonna pay that home price. <laughs> you're, you're buying a monthly payment, right? You're buying a monthly payment. And so if you've already decided that $2,000 a month is what you can afford, that's what you can afford. And whether the interest rate is 6% or 1%, 2,000 a month is what you can afford. And so as long as we stay within that 2,000 a month, you're still in a good affordability range for you if 2,000 a month is what you can do. Okay, so while it's true that six months ago we were looking at interest rates right around three percent six months later we're now at like six percent that is a huge jump rates have doubled in six months but another way to look at that is that prior to the housing crash when the fed started screwing around with the rate to try to get it to where like they could stimulate somehow some growth in the housing market again well okay we sort of got used to those low low rates and so for more than a decade we've been looking at these three percent rates but the normal rate was six percent we just got used to the half off sale and like all sales you know this one has come to an end and now we're looking at rates of six percent which Oh my gosh, a decade and a half ago, it's like, oh my God, you got a rate of 6%? That's great. That was a great rate. And it's still a great rate. It's better than the rates back in the day when I was a child, when there were double digits and people were still buying. You know why? Because you got to have a place to lay your head at night. Is that not right? Right. So 6% is not crazy, guys. Again, if the monthly payment is what you can afford, that's still great. And another thing to look at is, you know, there are options out there. I know that back in the day we were like, oh, adjustable rate mortgages, stay away from those, stay away from those, because people did get into trouble with those adjustable rate mortgages back in the day. But now, you know, you look at like a seven year arm, you're probably not gonna be in the house for seven years. Most people are selling right around five years. That's kind of another way to get that interest rate lower where you can afford more house for that same monthly payment that you were looking to stay in. Just an option. I've got some lenders that you can talk to about it. Again, just an option. All right, and so for those of you who are like, well, you've been on the fence about selling, like, huh, is now still a good time to sell? Because I'm hearing about this shifting market. I just don't know. If you if you want to sell at the top of the market, you never really know whether it's the top of the market until the market starts to dip. And then it's like, oh, wait, 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 that was the top, that was the top. Well, you're already changing now. So if you're asking, hey, is it the top of the market? Can I sell now and make, can I make the most money now if I sell now? The answer is yes. Uh, if you wait, you may get less. And that's just right now we're seeing uh, longer days on the market. You know, we're seeing uh, more inventory hitting the market. Now we're still firmly in a seller's market. Don't get me wrong, but instead of being at half a month of inventory, well, now we're at two months of inventory. Still a pretty strong seller's market, but it means instead of getting 20 offers, you may get seven. Seven offers 
still good offers. Uh, but if you're trying to sell for the most money possible, you probably want to get your house listed. You really, really want to get that house on the market. I can help you with that. And I can at least give you an idea of the equity that you may have in your house, give you an idea of what you'll need to do in order to sell it. And look, if you just prefer to have an investor buy it, well, you know what? I've got investors who can buy your house and just give you a cash offer within 72 hours. So I can help with that too. But if you've been on the fence about selling, you probably want to sell now. And look, now's a great time to sell. And then if you wait another two or three months, it'll be a great time to buy too. Look, I can help you no matter what season you're in. Give me a call. Let's start a conversation about your real estate needs and your real estate goals, your investment goals, your sales goals, your buying goals. Let me meet your hashtag goals, right? This is CeCe Carter, your Realtor for Life. Make it a great day.